Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I want to talk about water potential in living cells. And the first question is, in the following pair of plant cells, indicate the one that is typically would have the more negative water potential. Cell of wilted leaf or cell of turgid leaf. First of all, I want you to take a look at this picture. And what we see here on the left, we say that water potential is equal to zero. In pure water, water potential is zero. And when we have solutes in water, then water potential becomes negative. Of course, in living cell, we never see water potential which equals zero because cell, living cell, is not a water balloon. It has uh, proteins, sugars, and many other ions. So we can say that living plant cell is solution. If we add more solutes, water potential of the cell is going to decrease. But this is not the only one way. If plant cell is going to lose water molecules, the ratio of the water molecules to solutes also would change. And the water potential of such cell would also decrease. So it would become more negative. Now let's take a look at our variants of the answers. So what is a wilted leaf? Wilted leaf is a leaf which lost water. That means that concentration of the solutes or ratio of solutes to water molecules would be greater. And that means that water potential of such cell would be more negative. So this is going to be our choice. Now let's move to the second question. In the following pair of plant cells indicate the one that would probably have the more negative water potential, guard cells of an opening stoma or regular epidermal cells. Again, I have a picture for you. So here's the guard cells, which can be in the open position or closed position. When they are open, they're turgid. When they are closed, they're flaccid. Let's start analyzing what we see here on the picture on the right when stoma closed. And we see here epidermal cells which surrounds guard cells. And with red dots here shown potassium ions. And you see these potassium ions are outside guard cells. And that means that water potential is lower in the epidermal cells than in guard cells. So water would be pumped out of the guard cells, out of this vacuoles to the epidermal cells and guard cells would be flaccid and would close. But when stoma would be in the process of opening, what's going to happen? There are special ion channels in the cell wall of the guard cells and these ion channels would pump these potassium ions inside in the vacuoles. And this is going to decrease water potential here and that means that water also is going to flow here and turgidity of the cells is going to increase and they would make an opening here. Why guard cells is not just inflate in all directions just like balloons and the answer is simple because here cell wall is much thicker and here from the outside it is much thinner so they would bend like this, making opening in the middle. Now we are ready to check our question and answers again. In the following pair of plant cells indicate the one that would probably have more negative water potential, guard cells of an opening stoma or regular epidermal cells. And guard cells would open, as you see, because they would be inflated with water because they would have less water potential than surrounding cells because of the pumping of the solids inside the vacuoles. So as you see, guard cells of the opening stoma would have more negative water potential than regular epidermal cells. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.